Okay, so I'm going to take you through the chi-squared question that I asked you to do um, at home. So question one, it says, biologists often judge how polluted the environment is by observing indicator species. So indicator species will, det will tell us whether um, an, an area is polluted or not polluted, because some will prefer to live in pr polluted regions and others will, will prefer not to. So the table lists some freshwater invertebrates, the presence of which indicates the level of water pollution. So we've got stonefly lymph, nymphs, they like clean water, freshwater shrimps, slightly polluted, water louse, badly polluted, and then sludge worms, very badly polluted. So the figure shows two streams draining the same piece of moorland. They're close together and the water in them should be of identical quality. So here's the Coney stream and here's the Heron stream. Uh, the only difference between them really therefore is that we've got this farm close to the Coney stream. <clears throat> so it says the farm beside Coney stream was suspected of occasionally discharging polluting manure from the cattle sheds into the stream. The indicator species living in a stream are a record of the level of pollution in the stream over time. The water board biologists collected samples of invertebrates from Coney Stream and Heron Stream at the sites H and C. Uh, the process data from the samples collected are shown. So if we look at our results table, they've given us the four indicator species and the percentage of each present um, at both the Heron Stream sample and the Coney Stream sample. So if no serious pollution was coming from the farm, there would be no significant difference in the percentages of each type of invertebrate collected from Coney Stream and Heron Stream. The percentages would be similar. So we would expect sim similar percentages of each at each point in each of the different streams. <clears throat> so now it says, use the table below to calculate the chi-squared value for the invertebrate samples from the two streams. So they've given us the table already, they've given us our expected values and they've given us our observed values. So our observed values are the ones that we have seen and the expected values are they've used the heron stream because actually they're saying that we would expect to have the same number in each if there was no difference in the two streams. So now we have to do the calculations. So O minus E, observe minus expected, so it's minus 14, that's 10, 5, minus 1. And now we obviously square those, so minus 14 squared is 196, 10 squared is 100, 5 squared 25, 1 squared 1. And now we divide that by our E, Okay, so it'd be 196 divided by 58, which gives us a value of 3.38, 3.03, 3.57, and 0 0.50. And if we add those up together, that gives us a chi-squared value of 10.48. <clears throat> so now it says to look at the table below to find the probability that the difference between the streams is due to chance and not due to pollution from the farm. So the first thing we have to do is we work out our number of degrees of freedom. So how many categories do we have? We have four, one, two, three, four. So to work out our degrees of freedom, we have the number of categories. So four, take away one, so that gives us three. So we're looking along this line here. And when we do this, we use a value of 95%. So I'm going to look at the 0.05 column. So the value that I'm looking at is 7.81. And we can see from our results that 10.48 is greater than 7.81. Our chi-squared chi -square value is greater than the one that we find in the table. So... The next part of the question says the water board concluded that the farm beside Coney Stream had been causing water pollution. So they're asking you to use your calculator chi-squared 
and the information in the table to justify whether the biologist's conclusion can be supported or not. And so what we can say is that because our value of 10.48 is greater than the table value of 7.81, it tells us that our result is not due to chance. There is something else going on. And so, yes, it is likely, therefore, that pollution from the farm has caused a difference.